Uh, but well, that's the color wheel. It's really a Roy G. Biv, right? To, to right, see, yeah. uh, should be like spectral that. colors. Yeah. Yeah, to see where color sits. Right. And here are our pictures. This is a picture of of the whole test I did. Uh huh. Uh, like this, and looking at it, I saw all this. I can see different times of the day. I can see summer. I can see winter. Um, I can see different locations. And then this, you know, simple test gave me an artistic idea to convey landscapes and different locations in the world. So it's interesting because because each painting has a horizon line. Mm -hmm. um, because of the, by the process by which you were testing these paints. If you put the pure color on the bottom and the 50-50 and the mixture of white and the same pigment on the top, then you have a, at the, there's a point at which you have a, a, the dividing line is your horizon line. Mm -hmm. And so it makes a wonderful kind of abstract, uh, um, you're set up to make an abstract uh, landscape mm -hmm. by its very nature. So that's pretty cool. So Hanoi, is this Hanoi? What is this? Lima. It's, uh, here's Lima. Yeah, here's Lima. Uh -huh. And uh, I seem Lima. to see, you know, and, and it becomes a Rorschach block. Then mm -hmm. people see what they want to see. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's true. <laughs> and I want to see a river. I want to see a stream coming through here. But this, this it, it's, it's true in all pictures that we have. You, you see what you want to see or you see what, what you see. Or pictures depends on that. That, that that uh, capacity because when I have uh, when I have uh, openings uh, exhibitions there's a lot of people that come up to me and say I would never have this on my wall uh, this doesn't look like anything and 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 I, I, I what I appreciate with those persons is that, is that they believe they believe so much in what they're saying you know, they're showing me that they they are um, engaged in this, and I appreciate that very much. That they they even though they somehow didn't like what they see, they are so much engaged in my work that they have to come and tell me, and I appreciate that very much. That's the only thing we really can ex you know we really can can. Um, um, Hope for a fellow man to have, to be engaged. It's great. So, um, so, so you had mentioned also to me earlier that these uh, pigments are often toxic, and that that, yes, yes. that gives you uh, make you think think about things. Yes, and it's a sacrifice. You know, the earth pigments. The the pigment comes from iron, and iron ox oxidation. So it's iron oxide, and it's it's that's something we need for our bodies. You know, we can also, if we eat pure gold, hundred percent gold, twenty-four karat gold, it's got, you're going to be fine. It's it's a medical treatment actually for for uh, uh, people with uh, with uh, I don't know what's called. Well, rheumatism and arthritis, the rheumatism, they actually inject that's, that's uh, gold right, into the joints. Right. And so so there are a lot of metals we need. So, uh, um, but some are toxic, and, uh, and that brings us to the water. We have to deal with it. We have this. We have this. Um, we have this um, idea that we can keep in a capsule. We can keep a toxic sample or a toxic container. And keep it up, up without mingling, mixing with the other part of the world. You know, we we put I have I have uh, quicksilver in my teeth. Mercury. Yeah. Right. Mercury. Right. right. Mercury fillings. Mercury fillings, and that's a toxic metal, and it had has been put in my teeth. Uh, but but maybe the alloy. You know, this is what you tell me. The alloy might. You know, bind it so it doesn't go. But eventually, the whole, you know, everything that we put out, we got the basic 
come in. But eventually, uh, everything that we produce and uh, will will go back. You know, it, it is nature. So, so eventually, it will all return to yes, the earth. Yes. There are earth elements that will yeah. return to the earth. Yes. Yeah. Hi. How are you? So a little break here. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right, so we have uh, we have in view we have the landscapes and uh, <clears throat> as we already, uh, as I already said there were like yeah there's 15 pieces here uh, and uh, they are separate um, artworks so these can also be changed they can be combined in any order uh, I have simply combined them in the order of the color wheel going from uh, yellowish green, which in here is represented by Lima Nicolasa, the pigment duo, Lima Nicolasa. And then um, going through the different locations that these are part of, um, down to, back to the green of Atlantic City. That's the last one, Atlantic City, Cobalt. And we have Annapolis there too. Annapolis. Show, show Annapolis. Yes, Annapolis is here, of course, represented by Cobalt Stone. That certain pigment that gives the light blue. So these are separate pieces combined in any way you want. And underneath them is uh, a water sample. Those are also separate pieces. And uh, But they are made with the brush uh, in, the, in the final surface, it's made by the brush. Whereas the others were a palette knife. Yes, the, the yes. So you get a complete other, uh, other uh, uh, picture of these. Completely uh, different texture. A different texture, yes. So, and, and, uh, but they also have this part, there is a part of them that comes from the Atlantic. They're all named Atlantic uh, because water, uh, a water volume can contain different uh, substances in, in different part of the container. But if you shake it, it will mix all together. But water has all this, this uh, surfaces not only on uh, you know, reaching air, but also there is a lot of surfaces within water. That's why we have the Gulf Stream that makes my part of the world much warmer than than without it. So, uh, so these are water samples of the Atlantic. That that is the connection between Annapolis and Gotland. We are part of the Atlantic Sea in Gotland. We call it the Baltic Sea, but it's a part of, of, of the Atlantic Sea. Yeah. And so these contain samples from the sea, mixed with pigments and paints and, and the oil. And so they're named, they're named, uh, they're named Water Sample at Atlantic Phthalocyan. That's one of the substances in this water sample. This is water sample Atlantic cobalt zinc oxide, and so forth. So it's interesting the notion of taking a water sample to test for the water quality. Mm -hmm. so we have this notion of a water quality. So we want obviously the purest water is the best water uh -huh. for human consumption, uh -huh. but that's not necessarily the truth in art. Because uh, sometimes we want very toxic waters to be certain colors. Mm -hmm. The color comes from the toxicity, uh, fact, from the heavy metal uh, uh, that's mixed with the water. Yes. So it's, and, and it's 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 that way that something could you know we we label some things toxic, and it's true it is very toxic. But but also then again, some too much of something is. So it's just a threshold difference, uh, but uh, I can I can see the point of labeling 
some substance that to toxic. Uh, um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a very pragmatic person. I, 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 I find myself to, you know, to, to use compromises is something that we do all of the time in our lives. And the, there's this big, um, to me there's this big um, uh, romantic idea that artists are not compromising anything. And, and it's, it sounds very old and out of uh, reality. We are uh, as, as, as mingling and, and as functional as any other work. You know, there's not, nothing unfunctional being an artist. It's a very functional, uh, it's a very functional uh, target, you know. The, the target is very functional, you know. It might, may not have been, been used functional, but we have a great uh, possibility to bring function together with the other people that, that shapes our society and our reality. Um, and they should, we shouldn't, you know, that shouldn't be wasted, the function that art can, that art does and can do. It's a great option for, for enhancing life, just as a doctor or engineer uh, builder. Uh, so it, that's, why, that's very important to me and that's why I like to do work with public art. There, the function is very. It's easy to to understand. There is a function. Interesting. So, what's next? You fly back to uh, to Sweden yes. tomorrow. Yes. And uh, uh, both both. Uh, um, um, I I I wish I could stay longer, um, but I have I have people I want to see and, and, and work to do there. So. Uh, it only means that I will, will you know, come back very soon. And um, it's it's ama it's so amazingly good to, s to see you and, and be in this country. So that's very good to to me. So I I I be back. You know, you have to t you know, you have to time me not to come back. But I don't think you can. <laughs> You've been so lovely. Well, it's been great to have you. Yes. And thank you very much for this uh, tour of your work. And, uh, well, it's my pleasure because these things should travel. Yeah. And I travel a while with them and then other people travel with them. Right. And we all, we all get together in some or another. So thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you Thanks. very much. Thanks. It's my pleasure. Bye-bye. Yes. So... Um, now Michael is taking the camera over viewing uh, the artwork called Un Overexposure, Underexposure. And these artworks uh, are diptychs. So they have two, two different pieces makes the whole artwork. And these are made uh, overexposure, underexposure is a ph ph terms in photography and what you wish is that taking a photograph you would like to have it normally exposed which means that you are conveying reality as real